Hi folks, welcome to Bullshit News. Today we have an exclusive interview via satellite with President Trump. So Mr. President, what's your full name? Me, Donald John Trump. And what do you say to people who say you're a bastard? I'm actually a nice person. Yes, but you're not going to admit you're a bastard with a big ego, are you? Some people think this would be tough for me, but the truth is, the truth is I'm actually a modest person, very modest. We all know you're very rich. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. So how much fucking money have you got in the bank? Seven billion fucking dollars in the bank. We have footage of you with a prostitute called Rosie in your car. It's going to create a bit of a stir, but if we're not... Who cares? Who cares? You know what? Who cares? So what did you first think when you saw Rosie? I'm actually starting to like Rosie a lot. But isn't it true? She wasn't at all what you expected. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person. So you admit it's all true? It's true. So then you dumped her, am I right? It's true. And then you had an incident when you were dressed as Mickey Mouse at Disney World. And you've upset all the other characters. I've been very open about that, and not all of them, by the way, but I've been very open about that. You were caught in a compromising situation with Minnie. That's caused some anger, hasn't it? There's plenty of anger right now. Is it fair to say this has left Disney World in a bit of a mess? The world is a mess. So Disney World is angry right now? The world is an angry place. And you admit all of this is true? All of this has happened. What did the owners of Disney World say to you? You're fired. I bet no one's ever said that to you before, have they? That maybe you should be fired. What do you think about that? Calm down. I'm just seeking the truth. Okay, I just have to ask you about your new strip clubs. I know you're a sophisticated guy. Will I be able to get in? It's going to be very hard to come in. Right now it's very easy to come in. It's going to be very, very hard. And will there be, you know, illegal substances there? China! China! You mean Charlie. China! 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 Okay, I think we get the point. So, what about this Magic Mike the Stripper? Who's a perv? Oh, he is! Rumour has it, he was banging the waitresses. Every, every two, every two minutes I hear like, boom, boom. But he was a crap stripper, right? He wouldn't get his dick out. And honestly, I thought he'd say absolutely, and he did. So, did he have a big dick? A lot of times, you'll have, you'll have, and, and it doesn't work very well. And did you confront him about it? I also happened to call him a lightweight, okay? I bet he wasn't best pleased. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? Not that small, really. And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. So, you've got a really small dick then? I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. And so you got rid of him? But did you have to pay him off? You know, I believe in paying. But when somebody does a bad job, like this stupid Mike, you shouldn't pay the best, sir. And I suppose the waitress he was banging wasn't too happy. She said he's a pussy. Was he really that bad? No, this Mike is terrible. So we're not going to pay. I guarantee you I'm not paying for this Mike. Fair enough. Now, what I really want to know is all about you and Hillary. Quiet. I'm sorry, the public needs to know. Look. I'm a loyal person. I'm sure you are, Mr. President, but isn't it true you and Hillary had a crazy sex party? I mean, honestly, it happens to be 100% true. And was Hillary, you know, trying to seduce you? She was, she was grabbing me. And what did you think? I have no doubt that Hillary is going to laugh quite a bit tonight, sometimes even at an appropriate moment. And did you give in and actually shag her? Because you are a bit of a stud after all, aren't you? That's true, but actually I am. So did you wear her out? How was she afterwards? Ah, ah. 
I need water. Help me. I need water. Help. I bet she even had trouble walking in the morning. And she can't make it 15 feet to her car. Give me a break. After that, I understand she has fallen in love with you. What exactly did she say? You know, the little bing, 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 bum, bum. I love you very much. Awkward, right? So what was her response? Let me talk to you about that after I get into office. Is there anything else you want to say, Mr. President? I mean, honestly, it happens to be 100% true. Well, thank you to President Donald Trump for being so honest. We'll have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Thank you for watching. This has been Gruftykins for Bullshit News.